This video will demonstrate how to clean up the audio on the web SDR sites. I'm using W4AX for an example. And let's take a look at the spectrum. I have it set up on uh, CW at 80 kilohertz wide. And we're around 7041.63. And just listening to the background stack. But what I want to show you is, if you look on the scale here on this uh, spectrum analyzer for the audio, you'll see some stuff down here between 2 and 3K and up high. You might be able to hear this high pitch stuff. Almost uh, 15K or so, between 6K and 10K, there's some spikes that are in the audio. And with one simple filter, we're able to get this out. So watch what happens. Listen and watch the scale when I hit the engineer's filter. Totally removes it. This is all free software. And in the show notes will be the download links. The engineer's filter is a free VST plugin. And I have it set at two octaves wide, around 730 hertz as far as the center frequency, and about seven orders. You can vary the orders. So that's just uh, your preference. Vary the bandwidth. But I had it set at two for this example. There's also different filters, but I found the Bessel to be the best. Here's a Butterworth. And all those have a unique, but the, this one seems to distort the CW or affect it the least amount, if at all. So it sounds just like it's supposed to without adding anything extra to it. So once again, let's take the engineer's filter out by hitting the bypass button here. And you can see that this the harmonics and overtone noise, especially the high stuff, if you're able to hear it up there, is very irritating. So let's, let's bypass it again. And I'm accentuating this with this equalizer filter here. So I, I'm actually amplifying it quite a bit. And the engineer filter is still able to take it out. And let's see if we can find a signal here. take it out again. You might be able to hear the harmonics on that that's being produced. And this is the audio settings. I'm using a virtual audio cable called the Breakaway Pipeline, which again is in the show notes how to get those. So I'm going, I'm having my browser use this as the default audio device. Then we're taking through this VST host the input of the line 2 breakaway pipeline. Then we're adding the VST plugins to it all. And then we have two VST plugins the engineer's filter and this equalizer. So let's show you what the equalizer can do here. So you're able to almost use it like a Q multiplier. We can even add notch filters before and after it to kind of clean it up even more. signal, you can almost like peak, a peak uh, amplifier, find the tone by just click hold and slide this back, and then slide the, uh, the notch filters next to it, we'll bypass this. So 
So it does make quite a bit of difference. So between these two filters, I found that this really, really cleans up the audio for listening to any receiver on the Web SDR. Thanks for watching.